All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you already know, we're gonna go ahead and start with the piano. I'm gonna go with Keyscape. And I'm just gonna go with a cinematic piano. And from here, I'm gonna start laying down some quick chords, but make sure that you do have typing keyboard to piano keyboard if you do not know how to create melodies. Uh, this is really easy for you to create melodies as your notes will always be in key when you use any of the scales here. Layout piano would just be the basic, but if you click on a scale, you'll never be out of key but anyways from here i'm just gonna go and start laying down um some chords and if you guys also want to lay down some melodies you guys can also click on the drop down arrow go to helpers scale highlighting and switch it to whatever scale you want since i have mine at c already on the typing to keyboard i'm just gonna have this on c so that way uh, all the notes go onto the highlighted lines but anyways from here i'm just gonna start laying down some chords <laughs> Now I'm just going to push control L to lengthen the notes. I'm going to highlight it quick and just uh, reduce them so it's, they kind of sound like stabs. I'm just gonna take off the countdown since I don't need it no more. I'm just gonna undo it real quick. I'm gonna bring down the whole chords as an octave just so I can have the melody on top. And I like this. Now go ahead and quantize the note by pushing control Q. I'm just gonna keep it simple and from here I'm just gonna start adding some drums. I'm gonna push Alt V just to get rid of the ghost channel since I really don't need them right now. I'm starting to hear a little bit crackle, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, adjust my uh, Keyscape quick. And I'm just turning on the thinning quick so it can reserve some of the CPU. Also, I'm just gonna add a uh, like the bass note. I'm just gonna pretty much duplicate them by pushing shift click after I highlight them. Just the bottom notes and I'm just gonna bring it down one octave, control down. I'm just going to bring down the uh, velocity on the claps that I have before the actual clap hit. Now let's go to bring in some bass. So 
So go to the piano row and I'm just going to go ahead and push Alt V just to show the ghost channels again. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy the bass notes of the chords. Once I do that, I'm just going to push control up just because you guys can already hear that's pretty low. Also, make sure to bring up the velocity if you guys have it low. And from here, we'll just start messing around with the rhythm of the bass. Now I'm going to just move the chords around just to see if I can find a note. So let's go ahead and just move it up. So let's go into the 808, just copy it and paste it onto the kick. Make sure to go into the kick and push OK so that way they're all on C5. Also, I'm just going to add a soft clipper real quick. All right, and, and now we're just going to go to the layering part. So go ahead and open up a synth. I'm just going to go with Onmosphere, and I'm just going to start adding some pads. And I'm just going to copy the chords I have here. Control-C to copy, and Control-V to paste right there. It's always important to learn shortcuts. That way your uh, work ethic can be a bit faster when you're making beats. I'm just going to bring up a little bit more of the reverb. Now I'm just going to go ahead and push Alt-C just to clone the v, uh, the VST channel that I had. Another shortcut and I'm just going to layer it with one other sound. I'm not going to try to do too much to it. So let's just try to keep it simple. Alright, so let's go to just rename everything now and get it ready for the mix. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, color it real quick. Actually, before I do that, um, since I am on my laptop, I'm just going to go ahead and export this before it starts crackling with all these other VST plugins, especially since I'm also running a screen recording program. So I'm just going to go ahead and quick render as audio clip. And I didn't strum the piano notes because um, I just want it to be solid when it hit. And... I want all the notes to shine and that's the uh, other reason why I didn't mess with the velocity as well. Oh yeah, one more thing I will add is um is just the bass, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up uh Onosphere and add that growler bass. So I'm just going to go into the piano roll, push alt V so I can see all my ghost channels and I'm just going to copy the bottom notes. And then from here, I'm just going to push Alt-L. And for the last note as well, I'm just going to push Shift-D and then extend it. All right, cool. So we pretty much have that down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and export um, all of my VST channels to reserve the CPU and stop all that crackling nonsense. So let's go ahead and just uh, start exporting it. Make sure that you do have it set to the song position and just go ahead and start. Quick render as audio clip. All right, so we have all of them done now. So I'm just going to go ahead and move them up and I'm just going to move these up as well. So that way they're above because these are the ones I'm going to be locking and I do want everything to be organized. All right, cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of the channels that I will be using and I'm just going to go ahead and color it real quick. 
it was just optional if you just want your uh, FL Studio look to look pretty cool in the background. Now I'm just going to go into the channel and push Control Shift L to get them all in there. And you already know I'm just going to add my master from my Studio Plug Official Mixing and Mastering Kit. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and start leveling all the rest of the sounds. You guys could also just drag the presets if you guys have my kit, but I just want to do it like this for this video. And if you don't know how to mix and master, I have a tutorial you guys can watch on my channel. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and unmute these. And make sure for the 808 you click cut itself so it's not overlapping. I'm just messing with the stereo delay.
All right, so now from this part, I'm just going to go ahead and um, quickly lay it down. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and mess with the hi-hats real quick. Alt-V, just to get rid of the ghost channels in the background. And make sure that your uh, magnet is like half-step. All right, now I'm just going to delete the other half. I'm going to go ahead and push Alt-L just so all my notes are uh, lengthened. And then for the last note, Shift-D and just extend it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little bit of reverb. Now I'm just going to go ahead and split by channel. Make sure that they are all on. Let's go ahead and lay it down now. All right. And that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. Give me some feedback and let me know what you guys like to see next. And also, if you guys like the sounds used, you guys can go to purchase them. I have the links down in the description below. Anyway, that is all for this video. I'm going to let the beat play now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.